Hello everybody, yo. welcome back to another video. Today, we got some more Oilers news on our hands as, uh, well, Darnell Nurse has officially signed his extension with the Edmonton Oilers as it will be a 8-year, $74 million deal and that will average out to be $9.25 million dollars. Uh, for Mr. Nurse as he is banking out in large, which a lot of defensemen have this past offseason. You've seen Zach Rowenski get paid massively, Kel McCarr, uh, Seth Jones who got overpaid massively, and we also seen Dougie Hamilton getting paid this amount as well. So we kind of knew that this was going to happen to Darnell Nurse. You know, he was placed seventh in the voting for Norris. And a lot of us fans who watched Darnell Nurse throughout this upcoming season thought maybe he deserved seven, eight million dollars. You know, even I was thinking maybe six on like another deal. But we all know knew that Darnell Nurse was going to get paid massively. This was going to be a thing that was going to happen, especially after the season he put up. Now, there's a lot of risk that's going to happen with Darnell Nurse's contract because this contract can either work out in her hands and it could be like a Leon Dreisaitl contract, right? But it could also work out not in our favor and Darnell Nurse, you know, might not have the same year next year. He might maybe have a worse year. Will he improve defensively? There's a lot of questions that we're going to be talking about in this video, talking about the pros and cons of this contract, because I'm in the middle of this contract. You know, this contract could be awesome for us going forward. He could be our top two guy, but this contract might not work out in our favor. So let's talk about it all. Let's talk about the pros first. Darnell Nurse is an, an amazing offensive defenseman. There's no doubt about that, that Darnell Nurse had a great goal scoring season. He put up, what, 16 goals, 20 assists. He was putting up mad goals throughout the entire season. He was just lighting up the shelf. Plus, Darnell Nurse was playing really good alongside of McDavid. His analytics actually jumped up from being pretty good to amazing uh, playing alongside of McDavid almost full time throughout this season. I thought Nurse did amazing playing alongside of McDavid, but his numbers are a little bit more scary when you don't have him alongside of Connor McDavid. David. Darnell Nurse has had a, an amazing two great years. I give him that. He's actually had a good three years. You look at his stats, he's had a great, amazing three years over his time here for the Edmonton Oilers. He's been a great defenseman since we have drafted him, what, seventh overall. But the biggest thing that he lacks is his defensive game. His defensive game massively struggled this year, of course, as he played alongside of Tyson Berry. You guys know how much I really did not like that defensive pairing. But Darnell Nurse has a defensive game that has showed at some moments of time, but there's other times where Darnell Nurse plays too aggressive. And if he continues playing that style of defense, it just means that he's just going to be mostly reliant on offense. And... If his defensive game improves, I think this $9.25 million deal is well worth it. If he massively improves that type of his game, then he's worth that amount of money. But if he stays as a normal, typical offensive defenseman who's going to put up, you know, about 40, 50 points a season, I'm not going to mind that. That's going to be awesome for us. We have that. But the problem is with the amount of offensive defensemen we already have in this defensive core, it's just where the defense is going to come from. And I'm hoping that Darnell Nurse really does take that jump up defensively. And I believe he will. He's only, what, like 26 years old. And most of the time, defensemen really don't get that good defensively until the, until their later on years. So, I've seen it before. There's been a lot of years where Darnell Nurse has produced a lot of good defensive years. But he hasn't shown in the last little bit. And I'm hoping we can see that from him. His offensive game is, is off the charts. I give it to him. He's played a really, really good alongside of McDavid. It's just the biggest question is, can he improve his defensive game? And how well will he play without, you know, McDavid? I guess, you know, that was the same thing around Leon Dreisaitl years ago. Uh, is that, can Leon Dreisaitl play away with Connor McDavid? Which, of course, he proved. Will that be overshadowing Nurse to start off this contract? And I feel like it will. I feel like it will be an overshadowing thing because even I thought it. You know, you look at Nurse's numbers, he has played, you know, not as well without McDavid. He plays way, way better with McDavid. So it's going to be a really big question how he, you know, continues to grow because he's young. And that's the biggest thing. He's not like, you know, a Seth Jones who is what, like 30 
and way older than Darnell Nurse and might not have as much upside as Nurse right now, who I feel, you know, had a better year than what Seth Jones has and probably deserves that money more than Jones. Honestly, I don't think it's the worst deal. It could work out in our favor, but it is a bit of an overpayment right now. And I wish we could have got him at seven, eight million. But with the rest of the D that we're getting paid massively this offseason, it was going to happen that we were going to be paying Darnell Nurse $9.25 million. It sucked at first when I seen the amount of money that we have to pay the guy and how much money we already sunk into our defensive core, especially having Duncan Keith stuck here for the next two years. It's, it's going to be a tight situation going into next year because we're only going to have $8.8 .8 million moving into next offseason once everyone expires. So what are we going to do for, you know, a starting goalie with only $8.8 .8 million and also looking at, you know, re-signing Poli Arvey and yet we haven't even re-signed Kayla Yamamoto yet as well. So it, it was a weird move. But I really don't know how to think of it. I think I'm in the middle of it. I love it, but at the exact same time, I'm not a big lover of it. I think it's going to grow on me throughout the season, throughout the next two years. I think we're going to have to wait and see if this contract is really worth it. It's like Darnell Nurse is betting on himself. And if he bets on himself right, then this contract will look like a steal for him. Or I guess a steal for us. But hopefully it becomes a steal, but there's so much unknown. And that's why I think it would have been better as a seven, eight million dollar deal. It would have just been, you know, smarter for the team. And also Adam Pelich, who is analytically way better and a better defenseman than Darnell Nurse right now for the New York Islanders, just got paid like almost six million dollars for eight years. So I think we could have got Darnell Nurse at a cheaper cost. It sucks that we're having to pay him this amount, but if it works out, it could be a potential steal for us. But for right now, guys, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Tell me guys in the comment section below what you guys feel of the Darnell Nurse uh, deal. I'm in the middle. I think if he continues going up offensively and hopefully starts improving his defensive game, Darnell Nurse can be an amazing defenseman. But if he continues just being that offensive defenseman and only plays well with McDavid, then this contract might just look like one of the worst. But I don't think it's going to end up being one of the worst. I think it could end up being a very good contract. Definitely not the greatest, but not bad. But uh, I'm hoping Darnell Nurse absolutely pops off next year. Uh, I, I'm Honestly, I'm just excited to see Oilers hockey. That's really what's keeping me alive right now, seeing a lot of these things that Holland's doing. Not saying that a lot of his moves are bad. Most of them are. Like I, I don't want Holland here anymore with the amount of money we're overpaying a lot of people right now for you know one to two good seasons with Connor McDavid, especially Zach Cassian. Zach Cassian was a perfect example of a player that got overpaid because he got played with McDavid. And that's what a lot of people are fearing with Nurse. And it is uh, definitely a big fear. If Nurse doesn't play well with without McDavid, what will happen when McDavid leaves the team? And we're still paying this guy $9.25 million. It is a lot of big question marks around this deal. And that's why I believe it shouldn't have been signed. It should have been cheaper. But if it works out, then hallelujah. But that's all I got to say, guys. I'm in the middle of this one. I don't know where to go with it. I, I don't know how to like it. I don't know how to dislike it. I just... I'm just in the I don't know area. But for right now, guys, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Tell me guys in the comment section below how you guys think of the Darnell Nurse move. And just honestly, all the big signings around the league for all these big defensemen. Because honestly, there's been a lot of big moves around the entire league, especially for the defensemen. And do you think some of it's worth it or, or not? Uh, let me guys know in the comment section below. But for right now, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Adios, amigos.